In this video, let's take a look at some examples of converting inequalities into interval notation. So I'm going to begin to say what x is less than or equal to 4. This contains multiple pieces of information. So first of all, observe the following. See that less than symbol points to the left. You want to keep that in mind. So let's convert this into an interval notation as follows. You put the 4, you just copy that straight down. Because we have this part present right here, the less than, and then the equal to part. I'm going to dot like that. That's the equal to part, because that is present. That means over here you put a bracket and not a parenthesis. Then you put a comma. And then, because the inequality portion of it points to the left, like a little arrow tip, that means over here you're going to put negative infinity this way. And then you close with a parenthesis. Anytime you have infinity, use parentheses. So imagine that now, for example, I have x is greater than or equal to 3. Again, let's carry this out. First of all, I'm going to put the 3 down. So I'm going to say, for example, this. And again, because this contains the equal to portion, which I'm putting in the little dashed lasso, you put bracket for that reason. You put a comma. The inequality portion of the middle symbol here points to the right like a little arrow tip. That means here you put positive infinity. And infinity, again, gets a parentheses this way let's do another one so i'm going to say the following now x is less than four strictly less than four so here again you copy the four you observe that this time the symbol does not contain the equal to portion therefore next to the four you put a parentheses you put a comma and because the inequality points to the left like a little arrow tip here you put negative infinity and then you close with another parentheses. Let's do another last kind. So the last one might be of this form. So let's say x here is greater than 7. Same logic applies. You put the 7 down. You observe that no equal to part is present. Therefore, you put a parentheses. You put a comma. This arrow essentially points to the right. So you put the positive infinity over here. And infinity always gets a parentheses like this. So these are the basics of converting basic inequalities like examples 1, 2, 3, and 4 to interval notation.